been tuning to field questions for us Samili. I have a student who says that she failed the comp exam and for her school and wants to know what to do. Now, of course, there's going to be some of you studying for comp one versus comp two. Most of you are comp one. Uh, the comp being your school CBSE exam where you need to pass that and then you're going to be sitting step one generally within eight weeks. Um, so you fail the comp exam and I have many, many, many students. This is a very frequent thing that people fail the comp multiple times. Okay, and you can be in a, a variety of shitty circumstances where your school uh, might dismiss you if you fail it again. Okay, I've seen every little uh, permutation slash uh, iteration of trajectories here with students having issues with comp, and I can give you very fucking excellent advice. Isn't that so nice? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. So you failed comp. What do you do? And we need to get you through because if there's no passing of the comp, there's no step one that you're going to sit and there's no progressing with med school. And I know some of you are on the verge of getting dismissed from med school. Uh, various circumstances. The way you're going to get through the comp is exactly as though exactly the same as though you're uh, sitting the step one which means we need to go guns out blazing, full out blazing uh, in terms of getting you through NBMEs 20 through 30. Now look, this is a, an important point I want to articulate, which is that in the past, now I've been tutoring about a decade, in the past, students who've got their comp followed by step exam for either step one or step two, I used to quote unquote uh, reserve some of the NBME exams for after you pass comp so that you can have score predictions prior to your USMLE. In other words, for example, you can do NBMEs 25 through 27 online for step one, and we say, well, we want to save, e.g. 28 through 30 uh, for after your comp so that we have those to gauge your score prior to the step one. But here's the thing. It's been in my experience that if a student can't fucking pass the comp to begin with, what's the point of reserving 28 through 30? We need to go guns out blazing Okay, getting you through all that NBME material. Uh, because if you memorize that NBME content really fucking well, that's how you're going to maximize chance that you pass the comp. Now, for some of you, even with the NBME review, your basics are still going to be fucking shit. You need to go through my high yield arrows PDF twice, three times. You need to know high yield arrows. I'll link it down below. Very fucking important PDF. All right. Anytime someone doesn't pass comp, or USMLE uh, step one, it's because they they don't know high yield arrows well. You can't miss questions on hormones. You can't miss questions on basic uh, diseases, shock arrows. Like you have to know that stuff. No excuses. So you're gonna go through high yield arrows two to three times. You're gonna go through the NBME content, and we can even have you uh, go back to QBank uh, USMLE RX as a separate QBank to do, uh, or your U World Incorrects. But we're going to if you failed comp. Uh, and some of you are going to be at varying lengths of time from the next time you're sitting the comp. Um, it really needs to revolve around uh, hammering out those NBME exams, as I mentioned, 20 through 30, all of them. Okay, all of them. We're not going to worry about score predictions right now for prior to the step one. The exam's the fucking same. So if you can pass the comp, you're going to pass the step one. So 20 through 30, you're going to go through. You're going to go through my high yield arrows uh, two to three times. Okay, very important. And you're also... If we have more time to play around with, USMLE RX and UWorld. Um, but in the final three to four weeks especially, it's got to be the focus on the NBME exams. And I also want you doing my audio cue bank uh, on YouTube here. You can go through the playlist. You can do those in your spare time, in your downtime, okay? Uh, when you're cooking, cleaning, uh, brushing your teeth, flossing at the gym, I want you to go through my audio cue bank. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.